uh, it begins well before you're doing an intervention. And it begins with this thing that I'm calling a resourceful state. So often when people, when I explain this to hypnotherapists, especially they have the idea, okay, so I need to prove to this person that I'm magical. And that's the exact opposite of what I mean by resourceful state. So what I mean by resourceful state is totally believing that the person that you're working with is magical. And that's, that's a very different kind of plan because um, the resourcefulness that I would get by believing that I'm magical is incredibly fragile. You know, like as, as soon as something goes wrong, then it looks like, oh shit, I, you know, I, I'm not magical at all. But actually, if I believe that this person has a brain that's actually functioning, it's just kind of not um, set in the way that they want it to be set, things like that, then whatever happens just gives me ideas about how to help them adjust the way that they're running their brain so that they can get all of the good things that it has. So that, uh, that idea that I start with a belief that change is going to be possible, um, that had research behind it in the 1960s, 1970s by this guy Karkov. He showed that if a helper was functioning well in their own life, they were good at helping other people. And if you train, no matter how you train them, if they couldn't manage their own life, they were not likely to be very helpful. And the reason for that is that they gave the client the sense that, well, yeah, it's really tough, this situation you're in, and uh, damn it, isn't life tough? You know, which is very kind of compassionate. It's just that it's not the same, it's not as effective as someone who feels like I know you can change and I know that for myself. That's one thing that Milton Erickson had, you know, he was incredibly sure that people could change because he had been through the darkest kind of stuff that human beings experience. The the word that most strongly fits with it for, for me is synchronization. And okay. and that and that kind of synchronization is something that's built in to human beings in such a way that if I synchronize with someone else, uh, when I change, if I change gently, they will tend to change with me. So mm -hmm. anything that I do where I want to help another person change, uh, I need to kind of synchronize with them first of all. And one of my friends, uh, Shelly Rose Chavez, she has a way of saying it. She says, you can only pick up people from their bus stop. So you've got to find yes. out where they are. You pick them up there. It doesn't matter where you want to take them. You've got to find out where they are first. Another question from the same guy. <laughs> uh, yeah, he would he would usually say to someone he's going to heal. Jesus would say to someone he was going to heal. What is it that you want of me? Now again, if he's just a magician, he he should know that. You know, like mm -hmm. read and hey, I I got to just sit there and I'll fix it. Uh, but he doesn't do that, and he doesn't try and fix people when they don't want to be fixed. He asks yeah. them, "What is yeah. it that you want?" And if we've got a goal from you, then okay, we're we're ready to roll. So um, I, I'm not sure what your three questions were, but certainly uh, for me, that, that's kind of, that's why I have this yeah. outcome thing. That's where you ask like, what is it that you want? And this open up the client's model of the world is, is yeah. to believe that it's possible to get this. And once we have those, then we can start playing, you know? So the next question is like, how do I choose uh, which thing to do? And again, Milton Erickson would say, well, um, he would utilize whatever the person was, was uh, doing. Yeah. And that, that's really nice, but it's too vague for someone to learn quickly. So what I what I do with the uh, with the people that I'm training is I point out to them, okay, when the person comes to you with a problem, they're going to tell you. Firstly, they're going to tell you it about it in one of two ways. They're going to say everything is like this, or these specific things are like this. Mm -hmm. And I pay attention to that because that tells me is this person good at thinking generally or good at thinking in detail, chunking down. We'd call it an NLP mm -hmm. chunk. And, uh, and the other thing is they're either going to say, this is how it feels inside me, that is they're associated into the problem, or they're going to say people out there, situations out there are really bad, they're dissociated from it. Mm -hmm. So the person who has pain, for example, is associated in, the person who's depressed or anxious is associated in. The person who is paranoid feels like other people are attacking them, stuff mm -hmm. like that, is dissociated. The person um, who is uh, complaining about other people like what, what psychiatrists call personality disorder, which means something that psychiatrists don't like. And so they, um, <laughs> they when, when the person has a, when the person has a personality disorder, um, then they complain about other people. So that it's like not my problem, you know, it's just a, 
that person was a real asshole and this person was mean to me and this person. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of addiction is like this. 70 to 75% of people with addictions will be um, diagnosed as having a personality disorder, usually borderline personality disorder. Wow. Wasn't that absolutely fantastic? I'm sure that you found a lot of information in this very short video, you just saw maybe like four or five, six minutes, however long it was. But that is not all. You can have access to the entire presentation of this amazing speaker, plus 40 more other presentations and speakers. And you can have access for life. You can have access to the video recording, to the audio recording, to the swipe files, to the transcripts, to all of the bonuses and the special gifts that all of the speakers and presenters and also the organizers are offering in the premium pass package. So if you like this, if you want more, make sure to sign up below for the premium pass and have lifetime access to everything. I'm sure it'll be one of the best investments you've ever made in your life, in yourself, in your practice, in your health, and also with working with clients. So go ahead, click on the button below, sign up for the premium pass, and we'll see you on the other side.